Good evening. I'm speaking to you from the interrogation room of a police station. And I have, I have with me here Chief Inspector Fred Scuttle. Good evening, sir. Inspector. Good evening, viewers. Remember, crime does not pay. <laughs> really? Well, it doesn't for me, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, you know, Inspector, in spite of what you've just said, how do you account for the rapid increase in crime? Women, sir. Oh. <laughs> the women is responsible, sir. They, they egg the fellas on, you see. They do, I mean, look, 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 look at this girl here, sir. Naughty Nora. <laughs> Norwood. <laughs> I mean, look at her, sir. You see, that girl eggs the fellas on, you see. I mean, she leads men into a life of crime, sir. Well, she's very attractive. I know, sir, but a girl like that could ruin a man. <laughs> if he was lucky. <laughs> And look at the lady shoplifters, sir. The statistics is going up all the time, sir. Mind you, luckily, sir, we do have a very high percentage of convictions. Ah, what are the figures like? Very nice, sir. <laughs> yeah, I'll see what you mean, sir. Yes, well, the, the percentage is very high, sir, yes. But it's very difficult for the lads on the beach, you know, sir. Indeed. Well, they have to catch them with the goods on them, you see, sir. Very difficult. <laughs> I mean, one of our lads, last week, he was outside this greengrocer's shop, sir. He saw this skinny streak, he saw this girl <laughs> going in, skinny she was, sir. And two minutes afterwards, out comes this well-rounded lady. <laughs> two minutes afterwards, the manager comes out and says, two melons is missing. <laughs> well, I mean, sir, picture the constable's predicament, sir. <laughs> Yes, I can, I can. Uh, what did he do? Well, he ran after her, sir, tapped her on the shoulder, she turned round, and there he was, sir, face to face with two of the... one of the... <laughs> most difficult problems to, a constable could face, you see, sir. I mean, he knew she had the goods on her. <laughs> he couldn't put his hands on her. <laughs> You see, he, he, he could have had her for theft, but she'd have had him for assault. <laughs> and then he found out. Well, found out what? She was foreign. I see, she was a tourist. No, an old pair girl, sir. <laughs> now then, you see, sir, she didn't speak a word of English, and he had to explain what he was after. <laughs> in mime. And he lacks the subtlety of Marcel Marceau. <laughs> see? Yes, I see. Was an arrest finally made? Yes, sir. Finally an arrest was made, sir. But we got him off. <laughs> he pleaded insanity. <laughs> he said he was mad about melons. <laughs> Understand, it's all very well. It's not all George riding around in Z cars, you know, sir. I mean, it's all like the public jeering at us, sir. I know, but sir, as soon as they're in trouble, it's 999 like a shot, isn't it, sir? Yes, I mean, only last night a fellow phoned up. He said he said he had been attacked in his own garden, bashed on the head, sir. We oh. sent a constable around and he got bashed on the head as well, sir. Ah, but did he catch the assailant? No, sir, he trod on the same rake. <laughs> It's not just this, or an escort duty, sir. That can be very difficult, you know, sir. I mean, a young constable, plain clothes man, has to escort a criminal, we'll say, from London all the way to Dartmoor, by rail. That well, can be a very hazardous, very embarrassing journey, sir. Yes, but surely the prisoner's handcuffed to the plain clothes man. Exactly, sir. <laughs> and it's a long way to Dartmoor. <laughs> Well, you never know. I mean, so the prisoner might want to go and have a cup of tea, sir? <laughs> or anything. I mean, the mind boggles, doesn't it? Yes. The mind yes. does, anyway. <laughs> right, Inspector, but of course, you're far more concerned with actually catching criminals. Oh, we catch them, mm. sir. It's not... It's, look, look, sir. Only yesterday morning, Scotland Yard sent us photographs of 13 vicious criminals, sir. We already have 12 of these men under lock and key, and we ought to have the 13th under lock and key by nightfall tonight, sir. But, Inspector, yes. these are all different photographs of the same man. <laughs> are they, sir? Yeah. So, so they are. Yeah, well, he, he'll be amongst the money. <laughs> he'll be down there in the cells with the money, that fellow. Yes, but, Inspector, by nightfall, you're going to have 13 men locked up and only one of them is going to be the suspect. Ah, but we'll have our man. He'll be there, won't he, sir? <laughs> yes, but what are you going to tell the other 12? We'll have to kid them on there a jury, won't we, sir? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry, sir. No, I thought you might have... Well, 